Hi everybody, my name is Wingman and I welcome you all to AIC product re review channel. First a little bit about AIC. AIC stands for Advanced Industrial Computer. AIC is a leading provider of OEM, ODM, server and storage solutions, ideally developed to meet the unique demands of a wide variety of markets with expertise in in-house design, validation, manufacturing and production. Our expansive selection of products are highly flexible and can be configured to any form factor of custom configuration. AIC have over 15 years of IT experience with more than 200 engineers in-house who are experts in mechanical, electronic, system level engineering as well as a dedication to product innovation and customer support. With headquarters in Taiwan AIC has offices and operations throughout the United States, Asia and Europe. Today we would like to introduce you to the new product 4U60 JBOT from XJ3000 series of JBOTs. We will talk about 4U60 by JBOT in general and we will also touch a little bit about specifications and functionality of the 4U60 by JBOT. And to add for people who don't know what JBOT stands for, it just means just a bunch of discs. So let's get starting. 4U60 is a 19 inch rack mount JBOT enclosure. And to explain a bit why 4U60 and what this code means, 4U stands for 4U space that will be occupied in the rack. 1U space is equal to 1.75 inch height and that is equal to 4.45 centimeters. 40 base stands for that the there is a possibility to put 60 times 3.5 hard drives inside. Yes, you heard me right. In this bad boy, we can mount 60 hard drives. So capacity-wise, you can have up to 180 terabyte of data space in 4U enclosure. This makes the 4U60 JBOT one of the highest density and capacity storage boxes out on the market. Now a little bit about the specifications of the 4U60. The 4U60 is made from co cold rolled steel and it is ROHS compiled. 4U60 JBOT's dimension are 835.5 mm depth, 435 wide and 175 in height. 4U60 bay is divided in two parts. The frontal part, where back blanks and hard drives are mounted, and back part, where you can see expander, power supply, fans, etc. Let's start with the front be bezel. On the front bezel of 4U60 bay, you will see a lot of LED indicators. On the left side, the LED indicators are for monitoring of external 8088 port status that are on the back side of JPOD. In the middle of the front bezel, you will see 60 LED indicators that are for showing of HDD status. If the power is on, you will have blue LED on. If you have the access to hard drives, you will see blue LED blinking. And if red LED is on, this means that hard drive have failed and need to be replaced. On the right side of the front bezel, you will also see LED indicators for a couple of things. There's one LED for power failure, one LED for high temperature, and one LED for fan failure. There's also on the uh, right side the mute switch button. Also on the right side of the front bezel, there's the power on off switch. A short pressing of power switch will start up the j bot and if you hold power switch pressed for approximately 5 seconds, j bot will power off. The power switch have a blue light as well. Now let's move to the back side of the j bot On the back side of the j bot you can see a couple of things. There's 4x8000 38 millimeters 
PWM fans that are hot swappable. And you will notice some flap covers on each fan. Those are for guiding hot air down. And in case that any of fan fails, flap, <coughs> flaps will, will close air holes and prevent any dust from coming inside. Plus, you can see immediately which fan has failed. To power this big boy, we use 1350 watt high efficiency hot, power, hot swap power supply from Zippy. The power supply itself is equipped with four power modules. Each module can provide up to 500 watt of power. This power supply is free, pl free plus one and allows us to have one power module failure. Three power modules are enough to keep this 4U60 Bay J bot up and running. You can also see on the back side of this 4U60 J bot one RS232 COM port and one Ethernet port that are used for firmware update and enclosure management monitoring. For external connection, we have four 8088 external SAS ports with zoning function. I will talk about zoning configuration a little bit later. Now let's check inside. As you can see in frontal area, there's a top loading 60 hard drive base and dual backplane that supports 60 hot swap hard drives, both SAS and SATA. Each backplane supports 30 hard drives. On the backside area of the 4U60, you can see 6G expander plus 50 mini SAS cables. The expander itself is equipped with three LSI chips. We have one 28 port and two 36 port LSI chip. As well on the expander, there are 15 SAS ports used for internal connection between expander and hard drive backplanes via mini SAS cables. Like I mentioned before, our JBot also supports zoning function. There are three types of zoning configuration that we can use. There is 60 HDD zoning. This solution only supports one head node for 60 HDD capacity by four port 8088 with maximum bandwidth up to six up to 9.6 gigabytes. The second option is 30 pieces HDD zoning. This solution supports two head nodes and each node has 30 pieces HDD capacity by two port 8088 with maximum bandwidth up to 4.8 gigabytes. The third option is, is 15 pieces HDD zoning. This solution supports four head nodes and each node has 15 pieces HDD capacity by one port 8088 with bandwidth 2.4 gigabytes. We can also daisy chain up to 256 devices together with this JBOT. But to give warning, 256 device is equal to 256 hard drives, expanders and RAID controllers. Each device repre represents one HDD, one expander and one RAID controller. The 4U60 JBOT comes bundled with two sets of toolless sliding rails and accessory kits that have HDD screws, manual, etc, etc. You all know that time frame for presentation on YouTube is limited. So, for now we will close this review. I, have, I hope you have enjoyed this short presentation of the 4U60 JBOT. And in case that you would like to have more information about this product, you can contact any office of AIC. More details about AIC product lines and where to buy, you can find out on our website www.aicipc.com. If you liked this video and you would like to see more video reviews of AIC products, please click on subscribe button and stay tuned for more new reviews to come from AIC. Also, please Leave your comments below and if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask 
We will gladly help to provide answers and support to you. My name is Wingman and in the name of AIC, I wish you all a good day 